Today I want to talk about what is a vagabond and according to Google this is what a vagabond does. According to Google, a vagabond is somebody who wanders who is homeless and has no job and causes trouble. But this is entirely not the case. Vagabonds are a step up from the traditional backpacker. Vagabonds are travellers who have decided to travel long term, more than a year, and study on the road to learn new skills that will eventually enable them to become a digital nomad or location independent. What is a vagabond? Like what? Uh, I don't know. Sorry. Okay. The sun's coming up guys, it's Saturday the 4th of February, it's half 6 in the morning. So I think I'm going to try and get uh, the sunrise down in the centre of Canva. Uh, you're probably wondering why I'm acting like a hobo this morning, but I'll explain that just in a little bit. We've got hot air balloons in Canva. Wow. Could you imagine being in a hot air balloon at like 6 o'clock in the morning, watching that sunrise? It's so good. I'm trying to explain in a creative way to you guys what a vagabond is and isn't. And just like straightening the line between what it actually is and what it actually isn't. Because a lot of people think that a vagabond is somebody who is homeless, doesn't have a job, blah blah blah. And you would be right and that's what Google puts it down as. When you type in vagabond in Google, it comes up saying, this person is a wanderer, is homeless and has no job. <laughs> Which to a certain extent is true, but not in the way that Google makes it out to be. I'm gonna try and get up to the top of this car park. Um, it's, I think it's a Target car park, multi-story. I'm gonna get up there. I'm going to see if I can get the sunrise because I left it a bit too late I'm trying to get footage and things on the way down into the city centre that I'm a bit like if I was to continue walking to the river front which is about another 15 minute walk the sunrise probably won't be as good so try to find the way up almost almost there Yeah, close. Hopefully you can get right to the top. That would be good. Da -da -da -da. Ah, this is good. We've got the sunrise. Woo. Yeah, baby. Vagabonds are in no way 
Homeless people, jobless people or reckless people. Backpackers are people who travel for a temporary amount of time, usually for a gap year. Vagabonds are long-term travelers who choose to study while they travel. If you wanna, if you wanna stay remote and you wanna, you know, progress with your working career remotely, then the next step up from a vagabond is the digital nomad. And a digital nomad, you all know what it is, is somebody who works remotely in digital and has location independence. Today we're talking about vagabonds and not a lot of people know what a vagabond is, as you saw. That's what I am right now. I'm studying on the road. Um, I'm studying filmmaking. I'm studying social media. I'm studying how to blog. I'm studying ebooks. I'm studying, uh, what else am I studying? I'm building my WordPress website. So, you know, like, there's so many different areas of things that I'm studying. Um, and today, this morning, I received a message from a good friend of mine who found a 30-day free trial in digital marketing. Yeah, she, she gave me it and uh, I went and checked it out and he had the option to choose between digital marketing, marketing or social media marketing and I chose the social media marketing. Um, so I've got a 30-day free webinar that will teach me some skills in social media marketing and that starts on Monday the 7th of February so that should be really interesting actually vagabonds don't need to study while they travel there's a guy called expert vagabond um, Matt Carsten I'll link him up here but he is a vagabond and he travels around the world and he's a professional blogger I uh, definitely recommend checking out his website and his blog it's called expertvagabond.com definitely check it out he's got some really good resources on what he does as a vagabond so that will give you even more insight to what a vagabond is than what I'll tell you in this video he's done it for many years and he he probably did study at one point while he traveled but yeah he's a long-term traveler anyway and he's a vagabond so vagabonds are people that switch freely between that type of work and normal corporate type of work so a vagabond can work remotely as a freelancer or uh, for themselves for a period of time and then maybe pick up a job in a supermarket or something for a period of time so vagabonds are able to enjoy the luxury and convenience of being able to switch between a digital nomad lifestyle and essentially a backpacker lifestyle i'm trying to connect to the wi-fi so before I head down, accept, it should be, yeah, I'm starting to get, starting to get notifications now, cool. I think starting out as a vagabond is a really cool way to start out your digital nomad journey because it takes a lot of stress, uh, it takes a lot of stress off of you know, solely relying on freelance work because some people get lucky. Um, they apply for freelance work and they get jobs right away, but I'm applying for jobs and I'm not getting any responses at all. So it's quite hard at the moment, but I think the more I do it, um, eventually I'll get a yes. But right now it's awesome to be able to be a vagabond and pick up work wherever I like instead of having to do it online, which is the beauty of it. The only, prob the only downside with that is you have to make sure that your visa allows you to work in the place that you're in. This is awesome. That was rather random. A light touch wall. That was pretty cool though. Okay, I'm officially getting really bored now. I've no idea what to do. Um, I actually booked a bus yesterday for Monday the 7th of February, which is not tomorrow, but the day after. But I'll let you know what that means in the next vlog, not this one. This is a really cool back street. Do this for the kids who sit a bit outside the mix. Who maybe cope through humor just to fit in for a bit. Who never let the world know when depression's setting in. To 
all to those who know you, that impression don't exist And it ain't counterfeit, it's just a way to counter it I'm living things I dreamed about, I still encounter it It ain't something that a cigarette or alcohol can fix But all because of it, I flipped it quick, went on to write some hits This a success, off another breath This the first step in searching to be nothing less Than be the best in what you do to prove your strength and be a Alright, so I'm just at a coffee shop right now but I don't really know what coffee shop it's called because I never really looked this vagabond lifestyle and just to sort of like highlight exactly how I'm going about doing it. So right now I travel in hostels. So I travel from hostel to hostel down the east coast of Australia and I try to pick the hostels that are not party hostels. That way it's, I know that it's going to be a quiet place or a place that has limited distractions um, and I can just get my laptop out in my hostel dorm and just study. Study how to work online, study how to blog, study how to uh, write ebooks, um, study how to build my website and then while I'm doing all that I can watch other experienced people like Expert Vagabond which I've linked up already but I'll link up again and it's in description as well so if you want to check out Matt Carsten's expertvagabond.com then the link is below he's a really good example of what I'm talking about so definitely check him out um, but yeah essentially I just travel from A to B and I pick a hostel and I basically either stay in my dorm room or I'll go and sit in the canteen or wherever it's quiet take out my laptop and I'll sit there for a few hours and I'll study um, what I want to study, whether it's social media marketing, whether it's, I don't know, affiliate marketing, I'll just focus on one thing and spend a few hours that day studying it, you know, and just study at your own pace. It's like an open university. You just study whenever you want, however you want, and it's a really good way. Like, when you're traveling, everything is under your control, so you don't have to worry about getting into so much debt and like racking up all the student fees and stuff, you don't have to worry about any of that. You just save up a little bit of money, sell your stuff and go travel. Take a laptop with you and I'm just going from hostel to hostel and studying whatever I want to study that will get me closer to being a digital nomad. I've just signed up for a free 30 day course in digital marketing and then when I clicked on it um, you could choose between digital marketing and social media marketing. So now I have a, a, a the next 30 days study is going to be on social media marketing and it's free as well and I'm traveling so I essentially start on Monday um, and it starts at like 8 p.m. written time so essentially that's going to be like morning time us so I've got up early in the morning which is which is what I would normally do if I was going to work or uni or something like that and I would study and it's only three hours so I'll study for three hours social media marketing boost up my knowledge and then there you go and that's for 30 days so there's so many opportunities and uh, that's just one of the benefits of what a vagabond does study while we travel and then eventually you become a digital nomad so remember, the world is at your feet, go and explore, create some epic moments and I'll see you at the next video. Good morning, it's about 6am and it's Saturday the 4th of oh, you bastard. Ah that was flipping sore.